Hey guys and welcome back. Today is another quick ClickSense tutorial. Um, what I want to show you is how can you use variable input to kind of forecast your sales. So let's say you are expect you want to see numbers which are 10% higher, 20% higher or maybe lower. And how could you do that uh, and change your visualization or your graphs in a dynamic way in the front end. Um, for example, when I click on 10% here, now all my values are updated by 10% or 20% and they go up higher. And you can also do that with a slider. Um, and this is what I wanna show you how to do. So if you're interested, stick around. So how do we do this? Um, step one, first, let's create a variable. So in this case, if you go here, I've created a variable. Now let's just create another one. V, let's say multiply. Um, and it doesn't matter the definition right now. So you can, I'm just gonna give it as 0.1. I'm gonna create a variable here. Now a new variable called V multiply has been created. Next, it's time for us to create these buttons and the slider. So let me just create this from scratch. So we go to custom objects, variable input, and we put the variable input here. Just so one, we can make it as a slider and the other one buttons. Um, you can do whichever you like. Um, I kind of like having both because the slider is kind of nice to play around with and buttons are a little more um, intuitive and uh, dynamic, I think. So. Um, let's go create a slider. We need to create a name of a variable. So you select the variable that you just created. We multiply um, shown as a um, slider, right? And what are the values for these sliders? Um, since you want to increase it by percentages, uh, I want to make it maybe 0.1 or uh, minus two. So that would be minus 0 0.2 because that's going to be um, yeah 20 percent lesser right and a max of 0 0.2 or how much ever you want you could make it 50 percent or 80 percent how much ever you want and um, we can do the step as 0 0.1 so we have our slider here Next, you want to, let's just create the same way. Let's create a button. You're selecting the same variable. Input type is button. Yeah, let's keep it as rows. Um, fixed values. And I'm gonna add different values here. So minus 0.0. Two first and I want the label for this to be minus 20% minus 0.1 I want the label to be minus 10% um, I want a middle value as well so that's gonna be like the neutral value you don't really need it but yeah Let's, uh, it's nice to have a balance on both the sides, right? Next, 0 0.1, that would be your 10%. Again, you can do how much ever you want. Maybe you want in 20% increases or even lesser. Um, you could do that. Next, you do 0 0.2, 20%. Right, so uh, I think this is Right? So now the buttons work. You see the slider moves or you can just move it because these are both linked to the same variable. So as you move the slider, the buttons would automatically be um, be engaged. But as you can see here, nothing is changing in in your measure. So you need to make, you need to add that to your measure. So let's go to our measures here. Um, we have sales as the measure, I think, yes. 
right so uh, this is what I had before so let's just do it again so um, sales yeah. so what you want to do is you want to multiply the sales with your button value so since your increments are in percentages and it's 0 0.1 0 0.2 um, let's first multiply it by one because that's hundred percent addition and then do and then put in your right so now what are we saying here sum of sales multiplied by one so that would be normal or one or one plus we multiply and we multiply keeps changing based on your buttons so it would change to 0 0.1 0 0.2 so it would be if you're increasing it would be one plus 1 1.2 so that's 1.2 which would be 120 uh, percent so it's a 20 percent increase right or minus 20 percent so it would be minus 0.2 so this one would become 0.8 so 80 percent of your sales if you want to kind of move the slider and see so this is how it would work let's see if it works so you're done now you're at zero you want to move to 10 percent and you can see that the numbers have changed from for Chateau de Villa it's 87.8 but if you have an increase of 20%, then it would be 95.86. And this is kind of nice to know because if you have um, a reference line here and then you want to increase and see where, if your reference line is like maybe your capacity, then you could maybe increase your measures to see when, how much increase would actually lead you to touch your capacity levels. And that's quite an interesting thing to know. So I hope this helps you. Um, follow for more ClickSense click sense tutorials and um, see you in the next one peace